that noise coming from the attic? Hey, do any of you hear any strange noises coming from above? From above what? Our heads? This house? The earth? I mean, come on, be more specific. Maybe she means God, because she has a penthouse up there somewhere, right? I think she's talking about the attic, because I thought I heard something earlier as well. Could be a mouse. I still haven't mastered the art of walking through walls yet, otherwise I'd go up there and scare the craft out of him. Craft cheese, that is. <laughs> huh. Boots, why don't you go up and check? Unfortunately, I'm only certified for magic that's open access, so I can't enter a closed room or walk through a wall or even transport myself to another locale. It's very strict. Wow. Even with a ghost and a wizard in the house, we still have about as much power as the rent is too damn high party. I have a bad feeling about this, but I don't want to scare the others just yet. If I could only figure out a way to open that attic door. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan, and within a few hours I'll have that cat with the double claw totally in my power. And then the dark forces will rise again, and nothing will be able to stop us. <laughs> weird. Sounded like someone was laughing. But everyone knows a mouse doesn't have a mirth module, so they're totally incapable of reacting to humorous stimuli. That means whatever's in the attic is certainly not a rodent. Hmm. Hey, I forgot. We were in the middle of looking for this year's Halloween game. And remember, there's lots of catnip at stake. But why do we have to search in the bathroom? I can't imagine what kind of game we'd want to play in here. Although, if we had a bar of soap and a vacuum cleaner, we could play a pretty wicked round of air hockey. I don't believe air hockey is a traditional Halloween game. Neither is toilet paper in someone's house, but people still do it. Hey, maybe that's what this game is. Have you seen the decor in this house? TPing it would only enhance the carnival-like atmosphere. Wait, I'm smelling catnip. It's getting closer and closer and... Bingo! Found the game. It's the old classic, Dunking for Eyeballs. I believe the traditional game is called Dunking for Apples, not Eyeballs. Ah, potato, potato. The point is, we're dunking for something. And to me, it looks just like eye candy. <laughs> Get it, eye candy? Hmm. While they're busy with that, I'm going to do some investigating. I hope the eyeballs are filled with catnip, because otherwise, why in the world would we ever want to dunk for them? Forget dunking. I'm not putting my head in there. I had way too many swirlies back in prep school to ever want to see the inside of a toilet bowl again. And on that note, I think I'll retire to the living room. Wait, Tippy, don't you want to try getting one too? I mean, I'm sure it must be easy once you figure out how to grab one. Although, right now I feel like I'm playing toilet tennis because these balls are flying all over the place. Then perhaps instead of bobbing for eyeballs, they should call it lobbing for eyeballs. But um bump Heh, <laughs> funny. Come on! I hate it when objects have a mind of their own. But you can bet I'm not going to let these pesky peepers make a putch out of my pilfering prospects. Well, good luck. I think I'll go to the basement for a little R&R. &R. Doesn't anyone want to play with the eye drop soup but me? Mmm. These eyeballs seem to be coated with some kind of chemical compound. But it doesn't taste like catnip. It tastes even better. I wonder what it is. Oh, what the heck. Now, I know this puts me in a rather vulnerable position, putting half my body in the toilet and all, practically begging for someone to flush me down, but I just have to get one of these eyeballs. Whatever's on them just made my taste buds pop like a volcano. Well, I guess I'll head for the basement, too. Be careful of those eyes. They may just be an optical illusion, but um bum the double claw is finally alone. Now to create some spider spies to take care of his friends. Arise, my children, arise! Find the one they call Tippy and bring her back here. 
Honey, where did you go? I thought we could have a little girl talk. Jeez, it's deader than a Morgan here, but a uh, Now go, my children, go, go. <laughs> Sounds like someone just shut the basement door. But our owners aren't even home, so why would anyone close the door? That means we're stuck down here. Oh, oh, help, help. Was that Chippy screaming for help? I guess I should go investigate, but I don't really feel like it for some reason. I feel so numb and lethargic. Do not be frightened, my little double claw. Your catatonic state, so to speak, is all my doing. You see, I spiked the eyeballs in the toilet with a special coating, and now you're my zombie slave. I am a zombie. That's right, and as such, you must do everything I say. I must do everything you say. Perfect, perfect. What would you like me to do, monster? I want you to find your friend's tray and boots and destroy them before they can do any more damage. Don't say, honey, oh, help, help. What about Tippy? Oh, I have very special plans for Tippy. Very special plans indeed. <laughs> can own your very own collection of Cat Clips coffee mugs, so you can wake up every morning to coffee, caffeine, and some comical cat quips. To order, just go to wizardofwit.com.